I would say over the last couple of weeks, we've gotten a lot more uh, coming out that patients that potentially have minimal symptoms overall can present with loss of sense of smell as a primary complaint. We have a real opportunity here. So we know that there's um, a good percentage of patients that may have a lack of sense of smell and be essentially otherwise asymptomatic or just have some very mild symptoms. Those people, we could potentially uh, urge them to self-isolate, to stay home, to stay away from others. Because unfortunately, with this particular virus and the reason that it's spreading amongst us like wildfire is that there's so many people that are relatively asymptomatic and they're essentially carriers. They're, they're spreading it without, without knowing they're doing so. So I think this may be another piece of the puzzle. This may be an opportunity for us to uh, you know, get the word out that if you have these symptoms, um, this may be the only sign you will have of this viral infection. And staying home uh, will protect your community, protect your loved ones and, and the vulnerable folks in our, in our population. when they're trying their marinara, they might notice, gosh, this just tastes kind of bland. So, and that really is the loss of smell that, that they're perceiving. It's not necessarily that this virus affects your sense of taste. It's in fact the, the smell itself. I'm personally very passionate about smell um, in, my, in my line of work, but I would, I would say that um, what we're finding, if you do lose your sense of smell, the smell is a very robust, I think a lot of people ask me, well, if I lose my sense of smell, will it come back? In those cases where people lose their smell from a viral infection, the vast majority of them, uh, their, their smell returns. Uh, very rarely is it uh, occur that they completely lose their sense of smell and it doesn't return.